It's my 15th birthday and my granddad brought me to a beach and gave me a present. A bracelet of a delicate white substance I'd never seen before. It's coral, he said. It came from these waters that were once the home of something called the Great Barrier Reef. I hadn't heard of coral reefs. They hadn't existed in my lifetime. Coral reefs were known as the rainforests of the sea, a haven for marine life and one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. But by the end of this century's first decade, they were already disappearing and dying at an alarming rate. And all the species that depended on them too. It took 240 million years for reef-forming corals to evolve, and yet we helped destroy them in a comparative heartbeat. In 2008, one third of all reef-building corals were at risk of extinction. By the end of 2009, climate changes and ocean acidification had overtaken all other impacts in terms of importance. After reefs collapsed, seagrass beds followed. And mangrove forests were quickly washed away. As thousands of species became scarcer or disappeared, more and more people struggled with malnutrition and lack of income. Now, 10 years after the last coral reef dissolved out of existence forever, I asked Grandad when was the turning point. Without hesitation, he says, 2010. 2010 is the year we should have sat up and taken notice. 2010 is the year we should have finally taken action to prevent this destruction, this loss of life. 2010 is the year we should have finally made a change. Could we?